Hello YouTube. Um, another video a bit sooner than I anticipated, but I just wanna I just wanna talk about ICOs for a minute. Because they've they've been bugging me for a while. Okay. Here's the thing. I don't have an issue with the idea of an ICO, which is an initial coin offering if you don't if you don't already know, which is essentially where a company is planning to start a new coin and a new technology and they are raising funds by offering the initial set of coins it can be all the coins or a part of them that will um that will op uh, that will ultimately be on the market and it's very much like taking a company public where they sell off a bunch of coins on a particular day to fund their company and um the concept there's nothing wrong with that some of these um some of these new coins need a lot of money to get started. They need to develop a lot of technology, hire a lot of people that cost money. And this is a good way to get it. It's essentially crowdfunding them. But there's an image problem that the cryptocurrency world has. And that is that cryptocurrencies are associated with crime, with scams, with just a lot of unsavory stuff. And ICOs are just a cesspool of scamming. And I'll, I'll show you a few articles that outline the problem and then a few potential solutions and a few glimmers of hope. But I don't think this issue is completely solved yet. But let's just let's look at the problem. Just this one article from uh, from CCN. ICO exit scams have stolen nearly a hundred million dollars. This is uh, based on a report from DR which found that ICO exit scams have cost investors nearly $100 million. Here's a list of the scams they have looked at. Now, keep in mind, these are likely not even all the exit scams that have happened. <laughs> like these, these are just the major ones that, uh, that people know about that the people writing this report were aware of and found, especially with some scamming people out of as little as $3,400. There might've been a lot of other small ones that people didn't notice. Um, an exit scam. Let me just quickly explain what that even is. An exit scam is when after everyone gave you the money for the initial coins, you just disappear. Um, the way it usually happens is um, after all the money has been collected and on the day or right before people are supposed to get their initial coins, the websites just disappear. The like social media accounts disappear. Everything, uh, everything disappears. And the problem with this is, first of all, it's obviously fraud. It's a scam. But in some areas, it's not even illegal. And even in countries where it is illegal, uh, there's, it's sometimes hard to track because when people you do these exit scams, they usually do, do it with fake identities and all the money is routed through cryptocurrency. So it's hard to track. So big problem, these ICOs, they're not very regulated. It's very easy for people to just take the money and run. And often there's not even laws against that. I think it says this somewhere um, here. Nope. The founders have no contractual obligation to develop, uh, develop uh, <laughs> deliver a product. After raising millions of dollars with no strings attached, the founders' incentives to actually build a valuable company are very limited. Because if you can legally just take the money and run off, or even, or even illegally, if you see that opportunity, a lot of people are going to do it. So a lot of scams. And some of these are super, super obvious. Like there's some examples here. Like the most egregious examples. A project used a picture of actor Ryan Gosling for its graphical designer, like on the staff page where it says who, um, who's working for the project, he used a picture of Ryan Gosling. Another one had a testimonial with an image of Jennifer Aniston, also an actress, I assume you know. She was on Friends. <laughs> so some of these are just so obvious. Other ones, they, um, other ones have white papers that were just copy and pasted from, uh, from real projects. Or they're just completely fake profiles with no real people involved, like... Um, if you're considering investing in an ICO, please do your due diligence. Look up who is involved, if those are actually real people, if they have been around before the ICO was uh, was announced. Because it's people just seem way too willing to throw money on there. And one, aside from it just being an image problem for crypto, it's also the issue that the ICO market is becoming huge. Like uh, right here, we can see... Da, da, da. 
2018, it's not even over yet. And ICOs have already raised 11 billion. Okay, the good thing about that is that means the scams are less than 1%, but a 1% scam rate is still much higher than a traditional investment. And if we don't get that down, the image of cryptos will remain very bad. And um, you might wonder, why do we care what other people think about, uh, about cryptos? Well, we want these other people to be open to using cryptos, to investing in cryptos, to using uh, decentralized apps that run on cryptos or on blockchains. And that won't happen if people think that everything to do with cryptocurrencies is just scams. And um, when these exit scams happen, and it's not just exit scams, there's other types of scams surrounding ICOs as well. But when these happen, they get mainstream news coverage. People, even people who aren't in the crypto world hear about this. And if it's just um, a stream of constant bad news, that is terrible for cryptos. That is just, and we're all interested in the market, uh, in the market doing well, in cryptos having a good image. I, at least if you are invested in cryptos, you should be. So this is this is very dangerous. And uh, also industrial investors are getting more and more into this stuff. And if they are scared of there being a lot of scams out, and um, they don't have to be that scared because um, industrial investors do a lot of, uh, of due diligence. They have staff just for doing that stuff. So they don't have to be as worried. But if the cryptocurrency market becomes too tainted by image, they will also stop investing or at least invest less than they otherwise would. So that's, I'm, I'm rather worried about this. But there, there are glimmers of hope. Let's start with this. The SEC, the US Securities and Exchange Commission, have recently da, 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 slapped an ICO founder with a $30,000 fine and a lifetime ban. Now, $30,000, not that much money when you consider that people are making millions from these scams, but enough money to make people reconsider, maybe. So this, this is a good first step. I don't think this will apply to most or even all ICOs that are fraudulent, but it's good to see the SEC going after this because um, I know the SEC don't have the best reputation in the crypto market. I understand why, but... If, if they're going to regulate, I'm glad they regulate this stuff, the outright frauds. And uh, anytime a fraud gets caught, anytime a fraud gets a penalty, anytime a fraud gets banned from something, that is wonderful. And there's, there's more like that. There's, um, currently, the EU is considering a new law that could limit, not limit, but that could regulate ICOs a bit more. Now, maybe I'm just stupid, I don't see any exact details about what they are planning to do here, but they're definitely putting forward a draft that will regulate the ICO space. It won't hit all ICOs, but it will at least hit some of them, and it is a step in the right direction, in my opinion. I would just like to know what exactly they're planning to do, but it looks like they're going at this from the right perspective. They don't want to outlaw ICOs, they just want to make sure that people don't get scammed for them, that only legitimate ICOs happen, and I am all for that. This, this being in the EU is very important because right now, roughly half of all ICOs happen in the EU because the laws are so open to ICOs. And that also means that in the EU, you can scam people very, very easily for ICOs. So this happening, this is very good. This More of this, I hope we see more. This is the one area of crypto where you'll hear me say I'm hoping for more regulation <laughs> because it's it's one thing to regulate the money flow, but it's another to stop people from being scammed. And even when it's obvious scams, some people will always fall for it. And it's, it's just better for all of us when fewer people fall for scams. Because that way, people don't think of the crypto world, crypto world as just scams and illegal stuff. And what do people think about cryptos? People think it's drugs and terrorism. And that's not what it is. We're normal people. We're investors. We're people who believe in them. We're, we're, not, all, we're not all criminals. We're not all scammers. And the less scams happen, the more we do against scams, the better for all of us in the long run. And one final thing here, and this, this I just thought was absolutely beautiful. In an effort to, to reassure people about ICOs, founders of this one ICO, um, where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Nebulas project. Um, I have to say, I'm not aware of this particular ICO. But the team is apparently valued, or the protocol is valued at $64 million. So that is, um, 
That is not huge in the crypto world, but it is still a lot of money. And now they have said that they will voluntarily wait a decade before they get any of the tokens they would uh, get for their labor. Which means now they are incentivized not to run away with the money, but to keep the project going for a decade, to keep building it, to grow it, because they will only get their money after a decade. This is wonderful. This is how the incentives should be aligned. This way there is, I mean, there would still be a chance that someone would be scamming someone, but uh, there's always a, a chance. But this is still very reassuring because it means that people won't just be able to instantly run off with all the money because it's all locked away for a decade. This is how it should be. This is wonderful. Yeah, they, they weigh 60 million. And 20% of the initial supply of coins was set aside for the team. This is how it often happens. And so now they won't just be able to sell that all off. They will have to wait 10 years, which means if they scam people, if they run off and if they let the project die, the coins will be worthless. And even if they try to sell them, they won't make any money. This way they're incentivized to keep the project going, to build it up, to become a real company, to become profitable, to grow the value of their coins, which is better for everyone. If you invest in this ICO, you know the team behind it has the same incentives as you, has the same goals as you, and isn't just out to scam you. And I hope we see more of this. I hope we see other ICOs do this. This is um, this is even a bit too extreme. It doesn't have to be that extreme. It doesn't have to be a 10-year period. But this is still fantastic to see, and I hope we see more of it. Anyway, that's, that's my video for today. Um, I hope it wasn't too depressing. Ultimately, I think ICOs are a good thing. I just think we need some common sense regulations to make sure people c to make sure people aren't just legally able to take all the money and run off. There there have even been scam coins that openly said they would scam people and people still gave them money. That's insane and it's so bad for cryptos. But I I think we can get through this. I think we can survive this and come out strong on the other side. And people are waking up to this issue and a lot is happening. So that is wonderful. I will keep you guys updated about this kind of stuff because I'm very interested in it. And I, I think it's one of the biggest image issues that cryptos have right now. And if we can overcome that, that will be great. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, do leave your opinion in the comments. I'm very interested in hearing what other people think about this. Also, any advice you have, any criticisms. This is a new channel. I want to make it good. And uh, so let me know and I will be back soon. I will try to do daily videos about crypto news stories and uh, just talk about the stuff that interests me. So um, thanks for watching and I'll be with you guys again soon.